so Brad's out of the game. Laura and John leave the arena, and I have to say goodbye to Brad. Something that we really had not talked about. I mean, sometimes when you talk about negative things, maybe it can bring negative energy, and we were certain that we would make it to the merge. He's a hell of a provider. He's a great storyteller. Um, why would they get rid of him? Uh, you know, what I'm most sorry about is he said, I feel like I was an anchor out here to you. And I didn't say, anchor, oh my God, you're the absolute best part of me. There's not a part of you that's an anchor. Oh, I'm neat, but I'm really neat because I have you. You know, I, I you're amazing, amazing. And I do think that he positively affected everyone on his tribe um, that played with him. And uh, it was hard to say goodbye. It was hard to say goodbye. And uh, he said, you can do this. You can do this. You can do this. Stay here. You can do this. I can do this. I can do this. I don't have a choice. This is just a survivor will do this to you. It just gets you down to your real core. And coming back for Survivor a second time was hard on me. It's, I'll never get that time back that's away from my children. And I had to lean on a lot of people to care for them and love them. And that's not my style. It's not my style to depend on other people because my whole life, everyone depends on me. And um, because of the sacrifices that people are making to help me, I can't quit. I can't let anyone down. Um, and I, I, I felt like I'm coming out here with Brad. I've got a safety net. I've got a boulder to lean against. And he and I together can get through this and bounce ideas off of each other. And not this time. I am going to have to do this all by myself. And it's going to be a test. It's going to be hard. Um, but I don't have a choice.